okay. Okay guys, I do apologize. Uh, my mic was muted just now, so oh, wasn't able to give you guys this uh, best of uh, experience here. BA Swinger here, gonna get a couple kills there. But yeah, they, they are holed up here in the Gatka region. So yeah, sorry guys. Anyways, I was mentioning that all these teams are making their rotations in here pretty quickly here as uh, they do want to try and get ahead of uh, these packs here as they try and secure uh, those compounds which might be very beneficial to them. Now, we already see that some of them are uh, taking some fire on Resurgence here who have made their way all the way from uh, Yasnaya. Now, they are going to just tag them a little bit here. Nothing, nothing too serious, but... It does look as though that Gum Esports Yellow here gonna take more shots on Aeon over here as he drives through this region here and he only has a little bit of health left remaining here as Kids tries to get that final touch onto him. So not not proving too fruitful just yet here at this early stage of the game. Now others are also making their way over here. We still see that uh, Boom Indonesia here deciding to uh, still loot around in uh, Yasnaya and also we have uh, Mista from Philippines here who are still very much in Novo, they haven't started making their move. Vengeance pretty much has the whole of the south side of the circle here to themselves here. As um, things look uh, a little bit crowded here, Arrowwolf now taking some hits from uh, Gum Esports Yellow as uh, they try and prevent further rotations coming in through here. Uh, luckily for him, he does have a little bit of a dip in the terrain here. So um, it's going to uh, prevent just a little bit from actually um, getting to hit substantially. Now RRQ also making their way over here and got the sports uh, loose so that now Pika here is going to try his luck here on uh, Katao here but all his ammo wasted on the vehicle itself and Katao able to get him out there as uh, Arrowwolf gets on the board in this game. Now others are making their way there. We see that it is incredibly congested in this uh, in this region here not giving teams a lot of space and uh, just to show you how how dense it is here. Um, BAE has uh, the compound over there straight ahead towards on the eastern side, but squad number nine here is going to be Mineski as they hold up into this spot. Team 17 already with Team BMW as we saw earlier on and more shots coming onto uh, this time onto RRQ squad number six over there who are now south of the mountain. So uh, so now we will be looking and seeing how things are going to be developing from, from here. Now uh, I think Vengeance is going to be quite relaxed here, but this central Gekka region really is um, very much uh, a hot zone at the moment here. Other teams are moving in from the northern side. We see MBD here moving three people in one car, and so it's going to be a little bit risky here depending on how far they want to go inside the circle. Now Resurgence having bugged out all the way to South George here as they do not want to engage too much into this. Now just going to be a lot of long range shots coming out here as we see that why so easy just trying to get um, some hits on to cut out here after he was able to um, eliminate one of uh, Gum Esport Yellow's team members here. So now we will be looking and seeing how things are, are going to develop here in this Gakka region. Most of the teams here have already set up their own shops here but MBT here under a lot of fire now this time from uh, uh, L Dogs. So now L Dogs going to try to do the best they can and they managed to knock Nobby out of the of the car here. So that's going to be a bit detrimental. Tyler escaping with just a little bit of damage here, but MBT already down to two players here in these early stages of the game. But now it is going to be uh what just one more it is just going to be uh one more uh uh a few more seconds rather uh, before the circle finishes and closing here. And then we will see how these teams are going to start shifting here as uh, most teams are not in rotation anymore. They do want to try and wait and see how the rest of the movements are going to be going. Also, if they time their movements right here, they can do it when everyone else is in rotation. So all these central teams here in Gekka are going to be okay. But now we probably see Vengeance coming out from the south here and uh, others from North George are going to make their way down into South George as uh, they looked at there are still quite a number of compounds here all up for grabs. We already see BAE deciding that their spot is not good enough for them as we also see the team members from Mineski here on the move here. Azzarino, Legacy and uh, Grizzom here following their teammate Ace here. And uh, we already see BAE also on the move here being led by Loki's here. 
and uh, others are going to probably be making their own transitions over here into the more central part of the second phase of the circle. Now, now we will be seeing that actually quite a number of people here um, also descending from the northern side uh, as they look to take advantage of this um, this whole terrain which is currently in motion here and uh, looking like uh, it's going to be uh, quite interesting to see those uh, teams that actually managed to secure their spots early here. We still see the two team members here from Team BMW uh, still occupying this compound here as they look to try and uh, prevent these teams from rotating. But things are uh, getting increasingly uh, crowded in this zone here. As RRQ A swap um, gets knocked out of the, the vehicle here. And uh, that's going to be a bit unfortunate. I don't think his teammates can do much to help him. But it uh, looks as though his teammates able to get the knock back onto uh, kids here. So really trading for blow for blow here at the moment. Um, now they are moving in to try and deploy some smokes here. Make sure that he can survive as long as possible. Now others will be making their own moves um, pretty soon. The, we still see some coming very much from the peripheries here. They're going to have to be uh, very careful how they plan their movements. BAE deciding to um, take this compound over here and, and just south of the fields. Gakka region still does have uh, a higher high number of people. Arrowwolf, um, do they only have Katao? Might have missed uh, what happened to the rest of his squad, but I think, yes, actually, uh, Crosby did die in the early stages after taking a kill himself, but Exagon uh, also going down in the early stages of this game. So, Katao is going to have to do it all by himself here for Arrowwolf and uh, see how these, these parts actually develop. Now, meanwhile, we will be seeing that others will be making their way from the northern side. Up the north, this is going to be Boom Indonesia finally making their way over from the... Finally making their way over from Yasnaya as the last team to disengage from that zone here. Now we see RRQ having uh, knocked down True Tom as well for Gum Esports Yellow who is uh, confirmed killed by Voldemort. So that's going to be a, a little bit of a dent there as they already did lose someone to Katao as they tried to stop him in transition. So now they're only left with the two players here for uh, Gum Esports Yellow. But now up on the hill here and trying to get as good vision as possible we see the team members of L dogs here as they try and uh, plot where all the movements are for all these teams here. Now they are going to be trying to um, plan their rotations carefully using this information as we can see that every single compound pretty much has presence in one place or another. We see Resurgence opting to go for a 2-1 split here. I think they only have three team members available to them. Um, but now this could be disastrous for Extens here if they're not careful. But the team members from Mineski don't look to be perfectly ready here. They are putting some fire onto the vehicle here. But it looks as though that uh, Extens going to be able to bug out without taking too much damage in that exchange. Now, meanwhile, we will be seeing that others are also finding their way. Vengeance also making their way up north from the south side. Um, also, Team Mista over here after they rotated all the way from the southern side as well. And finally, we have uh, um, Boom Indonesia actually making their way across the North George Bridge here and uh, looking to establish themselves. But BAE a little bit indecisive here as they're already in their cars here as they try and uh, look for greener pastures maybe when the next circle reveals itself. But looks as though that is going to really be the move here for everyone here as we see that everyone is going to have to start moving through this region here as quickly as possible as there really is not a lot of places for rent anymore. Now we already see that uh, Mista here taking a lot of fire this time from Team Extens here as they're trying to push along here but they're going very close to Vengeance here and Ping Pong is going to have to be a little bit careful here at least he gets uh, caught out in this uh, particular set of exchanges here and uh, really a lot of fire being rained down onto them we see other teams are already on the move and uh, this is going to be Snow Templar moving in here from the east side and uh, we already see also that uh, this is going to be Frostfire also making their way over from the Gatka region so things getting increasingly crowded here and uh, have to see whether or not that's going to be uh, detrimental but Pattern Law able to catch a shot onto Alan Lembu and I think a lot of the concentration was being focused on uh, trying to nail these uh, teams which are making their, their rotations here um, squad number 9 is Mineski they are are occupying this current compound and BAE currently caught out in the open here with Loki Swinger and Batman going to have to try and find uh, a good place to park their vehicles and uh, set up their own uh, man-made cover. Now others are also making their way over. We see that uh, Squad 6 over here, RRQ, is putting the hurt back onto um, L-Dogs who are on top of the mountain here as they try and stop them from their own rotations high up. And uh, they actually do have to come down very much on the low ground. It really is not covering uh, any of the, the current territory that they're occupying. So now 
probably we're just going to see RRQ over here just holding this edge of the circle here as um, they currently have uh, got solid dominance over here but L dogs already separated here as they look to try and um, get a little bit of breathing room from the rest of them now they will take this loot crate here and uh, nice level 3 gear but have to see whether or not they actually manage to get anything good that could really make a difference here in these scrims now of course these are some top teams here from the the region guys so it does uh the competition is very fierce here i think we we usually don't see the same winner uh for consistent rounds here so it's going to be interesting to see how that part develops but aeon now already in the the one of a two one split here for resurgence now it also has two of the team members from gum esports who are very close proximity to him now i'm not sure what quadro and brax can do they won't be able to help him so easily here given the distance involved here so if he goes down that's pretty much going to be it and in the southern part of the circle we do see that the team members from snow templar here have managed to set up shop here in this little bit of terrain here next to the swamp um should offer a little bit of cover here but they do have just the east side team bmw so that's going to be a little bit tricky to see how that part is going to develop further in this match now circle is closing in and uh there's still 54 people alive guys so that's going to be incredibly awkward for most of these teams to try and manage their um own territory here so it's going to be incredibly crucial here a lot of the teams not going to make their rotations they are going to wait for the circle to reveal itself before they decide to take any major engagements right now it's just going to be a lot of these parting shots and just wearing down the opposition here as uh, as at this point unless they're lucky in one of these compounds they're not going to be able to replenish their armor very easily it's going to be um, a bit of a task here to actually make sure that they can keep up uh, with all their uh, equipment. Now, already we see Jatsu getting the headshot onto uh, Team Cap Capcorn for uh, Boom Indonesia as they occupy this western portion of South Shores. So they have quite a few uh, buildings here, but they're all going to have to move as it shifts all the way inside here. Now, of course, we do know that for the fourth phase of the circle, it will prioritize land mass over water here so this shift is, shouldn't come as too much of a surprise but now it looks like Krustik here and the rest of uh, extends from Singapore trying to repel this push by Vengeance here as they try and encroach onto this territory and um, no actually I think it was the other way around Vengeance was here all this while here but now Pattern a lot and uh, yeah Pattern a lot and the rest of uh, uh, Xsense going to have to try and do their best, but it looks like Kai is able to get a nice flank there and take out Alan Lambu and uh, Mox, and that's going to be it for uh, X. Um it's going to be it for Vengeance in this first game here. Now, we see Aeon still hanging out here. He is uh, still very close proximity to the um, the GUM Esports players here who are just opposite him. Yeah, and uh, now it looks as though that is getting increasingly crowded here as others are, are trying to um, try and find their spots here. Now, we already see that uh, Squad 11 here, Mista, is forced to go into the center of the map here, which could make things a little bit more awkward as uh, um, there is not a lot of cover here, guys. And uh, that's that's going to make it increasingly difficult for them even with vehicles at their disposal to find and uh, establish themselves but squad 13 here uh, frostfire taking the hospital here and they're able to offer some long-range fire onto a lot of these teams here who are inside this zone um, now squad 8 here not currently inside except for lex Lexus Fizzy here, so that's going to be Team Capcorn. They're going to have to make their move over and consolidate their position, but they do have a lot of teams around them. There is Squad 19, DTYZ, as well as uh, L Dogs, who are going to be in very close proximity. So that's some, going to have to be something that they're going to have to monitor very carefully here. Now, others are trying to set up their own shops here. We did see that Mista was set up in the middle of the field here. They're already having to deploy some of their smokes here. So is uh, Snow Templar Squad 15 here. But it looks like Chan Chan does have a, a nice gun at his disposal. But unfortunately, that's not going to save him enough as the rest of DTYZ here are going to town. But it looks like Taicho getting knocked over there as uh, Tyler and the rest of MBT come crashing through this zone here. They're not even stopping to confirm the kills here. They are just very much looking for uh, some place to call home at the moment. As um, 47 people are still alive and this zone is going to finish closing in one and a half minutes. Now, most of the teams have managed to get in here. But it looks like... Um, Makes sense here. Pushing in quite late here from the southeastern side as they're putting pressure onto the team members of Team BMW who are currently uh, just ahead of them, but they are a little bit spread out here. So Boyless getting knocked down here as Railgun able to 
knock him down. His uh, next teammate, Woshi Jason here, is not anywhere close here, but now that is the cue for Extense to start pushing in here. Now, uh, Aeon just still trying to put more pressure onto the Gum Esports Yellows uh, players who are just across the, the ways here. But he is just trying to hold this compound for as long as he can. Um, it's unknown whether or not he and the rest of uh, Resurgence are going to plan to meet up here. It is going to be difficult to move across this space with so many teams here actually uh, putting the hurt on uh, in this area. Now, um, we already see that uh, Mineski here and uh, BAE just raining down fire onto the rest of these teams as um, BAE only having that hill available to them, but they're able to spot a lot of the team members from Extense here and put a lot of pressure onto them, preventing them from getting uh, too good of a foothold inside the circle here. Currently, they are not in at the moment here, but Batman getting knocked down uh, from the headshot from Jowie Q. But um, it looks like other things will have to develop a little bit further here. As we also do see that the squad number two here, Boom Indonesia, is taking a, a, a or rather has a good vantage point here. Uh, but they do have to actually worry about Team Capcorn. So Jatsu here just trying to put some hurt onto them. And he's trying to get some long range shots onto DTYZ. So it looks like Batman will expire outside the zone here. And actually the next zone we see actually moves all the way down to the south southeast southwest actually uh, so looks like um woshi jason will still be in a safe position here but he does have team extends here who actually will be putting on a little bit of hurt but now in the southern part of the circle uh, we already have uh, Squad 15, Snow Templar, setting up shop here. They have a little bit of a dip here in the hill to use as some natural cover. But they do have um, Squad number 7, GG Easy, just to their east. And that's going to make things difficult. But other teams are going to have to come down here. And uh, looks like uh, Aeon WCES was eliminated by the Gum Esports players, leaving only Brax and Quadro here. Now, Vehicle just blowing up here as they want to try and... Uh, Use that as a hard cover here as Mach 2 will try and fend off the push coming from Team Extends. Now, Team Extends already almost inside the circle, but they lost two people in that exchange here. And we already see Mineski here trying to rush here into this compound as they try and uh, encroach onto Resurgence's territory here. But there's not that much that Quadro and Brax can do. It's a full four man squad coming out from Mineski here, and they will be looking to try and. Uh withstand this uh, counter push here as the nades and other utilities are coming out for resurgence here trying to stop them from actually putting on too much of a hurt now others are still making their way in here we see that squad eight here team capcorn is making their way in and uh looks as though they're facing a lot of guns here and they get knocked off the vehicle here so Zoraco and yes going to pick up a couple of kills there for dtyz here and uh, looks like others are going to have to make their move. Frostfire currently still occupying the hospital here. They have good vantage point, but the blue zone is closing in on them. And it's going to make things increasingly difficult. Now, on the eastern side of the circle, we see that the team members of RRQ here are duking it out with the uh, L-Dogs here. As uh, D-Bird here is trying to f uh, fend off uh, three of these teams team members here uh, from RRQ at once. There's only three of the team members uh, here. Uh, I think they did have one elimination earlier on in the game. But now, Woshi, uh, Woshi Jason here, uh, just trying to use that third person as best as he can. Uh, of course, that is going to be the benefit of this game mode here. You better use it or lose it, right? So uh, other others we see that have uh, started to engage here. This is uh, going to be Boom Indonesia here, encroaching onto this uh, compound that was uh, once shared by GAM Esports and uh, Resurgence before GAM Esports started, decided to evict Aeon. Now uh, they are just trying to fend off any further push here. And uh, now it looks like the rest of uh, Team Capcorn have been eliminated here after their last player gets eliminated. But BAE is still live here on the western side as well as they look to try and prolong this as much as they can. But now we will be seeing that uh, Squad 13 here, Frostfire, is going to start duking it out here with uh, Yez and the rest of DTYZ here. So uh, looks like Yez and Sophia both going down first here. Drocko is going to still be up here, but he is attracting a lot of fire here. He's He's just running for his life, but he gets finished off by Frostfire. So Fidox able to get that final kill onto them. Now the next circle has uh, shifted a little bit to the east side, but still quite central. But no, not many teams in here, and there's uh, really not many in much of the way of compounds here, as there's pretty much only one. And D-Bird here just trying to hold the fort here for Eldox as he tries to fend off the, any push coming in from RRQ. He's just going to use that uh, third-person perspective to the maximum here as uh, Chopin Lee just going to try and do his best to um, bend him up. But they need to finish that fight quickly here as the, there is not a lot of time. It's only 30 seconds before the circle starts pushing in here. There's still 31 people alive here in phase 6 of the circle and things are going to get increasingly crowded here. Now, see Mad Dog for... Um, 
GG Easy actually having uh, driven his car there and uh, let it blow up here as it does offer him a little bit of cover, but actually he's not currently inside the zone. So that's going to be a little bit difficult for him to actually sustain that kind of uh, momentum. But now we already see that others here are already advancing as uh, we see that push is finally coming onto the um, GG Easy. Not the GG Gum Esports Yellow uh, team here. As uh, why so easy? Just trying to hold off as long as he can here. But the whole of Boom Indonesia has rushed this entire building here, and he's going to try and rush to get his team member up. He still has the ability to um, rotate with the bike there, but there's not going to be a lot of places that he can go to. We are, we still see that uh, the two resurgence team members here still. Uh, holding off the, the push coming from uh, Mineski here as uh, Azarino has been knocked down here. A lot of smokes coming out, slowing down this push and it looks as though that uh, Boom Indonesia able to get those final kills onto Gum Esports Yellow. But now we see that there is a rush here into the center here as uh, the rest of um, GG Easy here is looking to push onto this advantage there here after knocking Paku Paku down. Ping Pong and Fire Blaster doing the best that they can. But Momonji going to take his time here as he tries to pick off these uh, players here. Ping Pong just taking a few more hits here and it looks as though that Batman and the rest of BAE are pushing in as uh, they look to put the hurt on here. And uh, we already see that, oh, Swinger here getting caught out as he tries to push a little bit. Batman is just trying to get a little bit more vision on where the Resurgence players are. Now, of course, they did actually manage to push away um, some of the other teams already. As we see, uh, Legacy and Grizzom for Mineski deciding to bug out of that compound, deciding that it is not worth it. Um, but yeah, there's actually no compound except for this little edge here that's still in. And now we see that um, RRQ is starting to move on to uh, bigger and greater things here as they start to uh, advance on to or, or rather put pressure onto Mista who are currently still duking it out with uh, GG Easy but currently not going to have uh, too much in the way of uh, problems here as things start to uh, develop further. The circle is just about to close here and uh, looks like Katao is still alive for Arrowwolf here having stayed here um, all by his lonesome for the longest part. Now he's had to survive. Uh, I think for the majority of the round by himself as two of his team members did uh, get taken out early in the round and it looks like Resurgence here able to come out on top with the fight with Battle Arena elites here and uh, already inside is Mineski in the southern region here. Now they're just going to have to be careful about Snow Templar who is all the way here in the south and uh, looks like this long range battle is going to continue for the time being but it is a little bit of a precarious battle over here by this water tower as we do see that the two team members from Mista are still uh, posturing as best they can. The smoke is starting to dissipate and it might mean that these teams might want to be uh, flexing their muscles here but Fire Blaster just going to try and see what view that he can get here but so far there's nothing here and these two teams going to have to watch out as uh, whoever starts to disengage first will get shot in the back here so that's going to be uh, ever crucial here to see whether or not that they can uh, develop this one further. Now others are going to start making their way over and the, the rotation is going to come out here from Mad Dog but he's straight away attracting lots of fire ping pong and fire blaster going to be able to see him and um, I think they are putting some fire onto him but Momonji getting picked off by Fire Blaster here as uh, he gets uh, caught out by that third person perspective here but now RRQ already making their move closer towards uh, the team members of Team Mista as they want to try and finish this off they do not want to have to deal with this as they start moving inside the zone so they're going to try and wipe them out as fast as they can but the last two players here for Resurgence here still alive and they're duking it out with the other players from uh, squad number 9, Mineski here. And uh, Brax and Quadro moving under the cover of some smokes here as they try and uh, survive a little bit longer into this round. Now, Grizzom is just inside the zone here. He is using the vehicle to the maximum effect here. And it looks like Legacy is going to see Jawi's site, Jawi Q, but not able to land more than one hit there as uh, he abandons his vehicle in his effort to try and stay inside the zone. But now, looks like Resurgence is going to clean up a couple of those kills there as they finish off uh, Arrowwolf as well as the uh, uh, Boom Indonesia fellows there as they go out in 7th and 6th position here. But now it looks like the team members of Mista are going to be in big trouble here. Ping Pong getting eliminated by Koppin Lee. And uh, that's going to still be them with 7 kills so far in this game, guys. So looking pretty good from their perspective as they look to uh, sustain themselves into this circle. But now uh, Resurgence here taking up position here in the center of the circle and going to play this one very carefully here as they uh, do have a lot of natural cover available to them but everyone is scattered very much on the edges of the circle except for uh, Nesco Sar here who is just trying to stay as hidden as possible but looks like it's central and going to favor the Resurgence guys as well as uh, Mineski who are still very much in this game. 
Um, but now they still have to contend with the three team members from RRQ who have been looking pretty strong here, able to rack up the kills here. But Resurgence, uh, no slouches themselves. They have seven kills with just between Quadro and Brax so far in this game. And uh, they're going to use that terrain to the maximum advantage over here as they try and spot where these other teams are going to be coming from no one has started moving yet there is still 24 seconds left in this uh in this uh, cycle here before things actually start to uh transpire further but now it looks like our rrq is going to try and uh see what they can do they are all lying prone here and uh, really using that third person perspective i mean of course, when you see this mode, it is going to have a lot slower games, guys, as um, that's going to be the natural tendency to use the, the mode to its fullest extent here. Now, the rest are just going to try and spot the movements here. Nesco's are here already shedding all his clothing here as he looks to try and survive here as much as possible. But now Resurgence is going to try and uh, put some pressure onto these guys as they start moving. Grizzom is moving over from towards his teammate, but he gets in full vision of... Uh, Neskosar as well as uh, RRQ. He gets uh, knocked down by Neskosar here, but looks like Grizzle should be able to help him a little bit. But the rest of RRQ not opening up too much uh, fire here. But it looks like Ace, Ace well played here. Going to have to move in uh, as he cannot outrun the circle at, at this present point in time. And Neskosar will be uh, able to spot him as well. Now Neskosar also going to have to worry about exactly how he's going to uh, deal with the two teams on either side of him. But he is just getting just inside the circle here and see whether or not he can add to his one kill total. But he, he was a little bit exposed in that one instance there. And he's just spraying and hoping that he's able to uh, land some shots over there as he tries to finish it off. But Coppin Lee able to finish him off first as uh, we see that Snow Templar goes out in fourth place here. But now this is the final circle, guys. There is not going to be any further circles here. It is just going to collapse in on itself uh, once... The timer has run out, which is only 40 seconds left. And currently, Resurgence holds the, the main keys here as they are using the terrain and have a bit more of a central position here. Quadro trying to get some shots onto the RRQ players here. Currently can't spot them too well as he is uh, trying to sh shoot the, through the weeds here as much best he can. Brax just holding up onto the other side here. He's already shed his, uh, his gear bag here as he does not want to be picked off uh, in the grass at the moment. But... Right now, they look, are looking safe here, but Resurgence should have the ball in their court. And uh, we already see Maneski here just trying to put up those shots onto RRQ. Uh, they know that uh, they are in that region here, but they're still going to have to do whatever that they can. But the blue zone is on the move, and uh, looks like Maneski will have to be forced to move out here. They are taking a, a lot of blue damage here, and uh, looks like Brax able to catch them both out. But Quadro here is going to try and knock down and he is able to get down Coppin Lee here and uh, now leaving only Zalman left up here for RRQ as uh, Resurgence looks to finish this off but Zalman able to get that uh, vector shot as he crawls forward to victory here. Um, now Brax, it is going to be a one-on-one -on -one between Brax and Zalman here as they look to duke it out. Quadro was confirmed kill here but he's going to have to keep moving in here as the circle uh, reaches its conclusion. Now they will be able to try and see each other here, but Zalman able to use the angle there, get the view, and then revert back to that first-person perspective to nail that final kill. So, first game of the evening goes to RRQ, ladies and gentlemen. And in second place, we have uh, Resurgence. Both teams doing uh, quite well, really churning out a number of kills. 10 kills for RRQ in that game. And uh, looks like Resurgence, they had to fend off mo a lot of pressure here with just Brax and Quadro. And they were able to also get uh, 10 kills just between themselves here. And uh, in third place, we have Mineski. So Mineski, uh, we're duking out for quite a long time. But for, uh, for the last few circles, they were prioritizing just getting uh, that position inside here and just trying to survive as long as possible. So they managed to uh, uh, get third position in that game. And, um, yep, that is going to be it for round number one, guys. So, thanks again for watching. And uh, when we return, we'll be back for round number two. So, if you're enjoying this stream and you um, like the content, please do give the Twitch page a follow so you can be kept up to date of my future streams. So, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we'll be right back for round number two.